<laughs> I'll tell you one thing, that sure the heck wasn't any fun. <sighs> Hello folks, I'm Gary. I'm one half of the RV Hobos and I want to tell you about our little adventure that we had uh, over the Memorial Day weekend. We were uh, traveling uh, over to our campground which is about 60 to 70 miles away from our home base and uh, we thought we'd just take a few days and go over to uh, the Big M campground. It's a Corps of Engineer Park over near Cassville, Missouri. Well, uh, on our way to Cassville, uh, you had to go down some of these little roads. This is the Ozark, so there are some hills. There's pretty good hills up and down. And so you going down the hill, you gear down and got to get that thing uh, slowed down the tad, go down them hills because it just goes too fast. So I'm driving along these hills and I'm doing some of the hills uh, get up. I'm doing 35 and 40 mile an hour time I get up. And we got a 2019 emblem, which is a gas V10. Uh, doesn't do hills real good, but it's a really fine little machine. We like it. Anyway, we were going down hills over here on E Highway, up and down, up and down. And so sometimes I'd get going as fast as 65, 70 mile an hour going down these hills so I could grab a little space to go up on the next hill, you know, get a little, little momentum going, uh, make it easier on the rig. So this one hill I decided that I was going up, I got up it and all of a sudden it's up to the top of this hill. There's a, with a sign with the truck on it, you know, saying it's a steep grade. So I gear down to about the second gear and I'm going down this hill and we're doing about 30, maybe 35 at the most. And it's a kind of a little curvy downhill track that we're doing. So I going down this hill and doing 30 35 the engine's running about 3,000 rpms and i see this little bridge and it's at the bottom of the hill and i'm on a curve and i'm doing about 30. and so i hit the bridge there and i hit the gas to go up the other side of the hill well when i hit that gas this is what happened it snapped the receiver hitch broke the damn thing in two about two inches away from my hitch on the RV. I look, I heard this noise. I looked in my camera and I see my old Jeep going back and forth, back and forth. Well, I didn't want to hit the brakes too hard real fast, so I didn't. I just slowed down a little bit. We drug her about 500 feet and it was off the side of the road as you can see in some of these pictures. Anyway, I get out, Debbie gets out, and we go back and look at that. I know I've got to back up a little bit because my cables held on to the rig and didn't let it go. That's one good thing anyway. We didn't lose the RV, I mean the Jeep totally. It was hanging on by two threads, and I say threads, calling them cables, the cables that's hooked up, the safety cables, I should say. So... I can get out and I'm looking those cables are just torn so I had to get back into the RV and back up about a foot or so and so I could get the cables off the cables held real good car did not come unplugged the, the electric brakes wouldn't work because the car didn't come unplugged so it was they were useless at this time and so we looked at the rig I mean at the yeah, I looked at the rig, and we had just a little bitty scratch on the back of the rig. Uh, nothing to it. I didn't even take a video of it. It wasn't serious. It'll be buffed out easily. About three-inch little... Heck, not even a scratch. It's just a scuff. But Jeep had a little damage, as you can see in some of the photos here, that it was not total, but, man, I'm telling you what, the underneath is uh, damaged pretty good. We... Uh, called up the insurance company the good sam to get us a tow uh, we got the on the phone to them debbie did and uh, they said yes right out there right away and so we waited and by that time the fire trucks are there and uh, they are guiding traffic around our little rig because we couldn't get completely off of the road so they're 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 directing traffic and everything and then a dadgum rain just started pouring from the skies in the meantime Good Sam did not send anyone out to us. So we're waiting, and we're waiting. We waited near an hour and a half with three different phone calls to Good Sam, and they're saying to us, 
Their help is on the way, Mr. Ingram. Mrs. Ingram, she did the talking. The help is on the way. So we waited. We waited. Finally, two hours later, 911 called me and said, asked me, says, look, they, they're not getting a token. We call somebody local to get somebody else. So, yep, you can call somebody local. We're two hours sitting in this rig. We don't need to be sitting here any longer. We're blocking traffic. It's a raining. The two fire people, two firemen out there, they were directing traffic. They're soaked. And so in about 20 minutes, the tow truck from the 911 telephone call arrived. And uh, it was a co little company called Bryce Towing out of um, Cassville, Missouri, which was about 10 miles away. So anyway, they come out there and they said, well, you can go on down to your site uh, and go on to, to the campground. There's nothing you can do here. We'll take the, uh, to the, to the junkyard, um, to their, their station, I guess you want to call it over there. We, uh, we went to our campsite and we set up and told the folks, I called the daughter and Debbie called our daughter and asked her to bring us out another car because we're going to be there for six days and we didn't want to be around with no cars involved uh, so that was a really really nice start to a good memorial day weekend and uh, now we've got the jeep back to my son-in-law's he is um, a body man and mechanic over at bender's auto body uh, in branson and uh, it's been up on the rack now. I haven't got an idea what it's going to cost to get it fixed. Don't know if the insurance is going to do what we need to do. However, we did do our $1,000 walk around. And what I mean by a $1,000 walk around, we have a $1,000 deductible on the motorhome. So we walked around that. I walked around to make sure everything was good. Wasn't no problems. Everything tight. Everything hooked up. Doors all closed. And everything was good to go. For the life of me, we do not know why that receiver hitch snapped right there at that thing. It was just a weak point. Was it a weld? A weld broke, maybe? We really don't know. I do know one thing. I will never, ever buy a hollow receiver hitch from now on. It'll be a solid hitch. Yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess, folks. But anyway... The uh, pictures tell the story. No videos on it. Uh, we're going to get the motorhome. Um, we're going to get the Jeep fixed. We'll get back up on the road. We did have to cancel our trip to Niagara Falls at this time. Actually, we didn't cancel. We are going to postpone it until we get the Jeep back. And uh, then we'll be back on the road again. Folks, anyway, just check out your hitches. Make sure everything looks good. It all looked good to me. And it was a freak accident. But hey, we're okay everything's fine motorhome's fine jeep's got a dent but you know what it beats the alternative coming off completely and running into somebody or turning completely over folks thanks a lot for watching we hope you have a great day today and uh, may the good lord take a liking to you just like he did us see y'all next trip